will cost skin rights. Hopefully he will meet with me. What do you want, Ashbourne? You are here to see the Count, yes? He has been expecting you. Please, wait here. I shall inform him of your arrival. To go only for him. What can I do for you? When we're better friends, ask again. Make it quick. <laughs> Every little bit helps. I have a little bit help, huh? Bye. A pleasure to speak with you. I can speak for the Count. Rosethorn Hall is a stately manor currently occupied by Vanderalan Trebatius. You won't find a better property for sale. It's just inside the main gate, near the bridge to the chapel. Somehow I knew you weren't serious about it. Take. It's my pleasure. Please could. Ah, if it's not one thing, it's another. The Count is very particular about his food and drink. Everything must be just so. Well, he's a vampire after all. Be seeing you. How low am I? 10 or 11? Uh, 10. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry already. the count oh he is having a dinner and I am not invited <sighs> on who is he feasting The Count is on his way. Please remain here and be patient. Go away, fool. Someone drum rather. Maybe fire truck. I mean flame truck because he's a vampire. Welcome, Guild Mage. We meet again, although in different circumstances. I fear this time you may find the results no more to your liking than the last. Less so, perhaps. The information I have for your guild will not be met with smiles and handshakes, I fear. I have called you here because, from our previous encounter, I believe you can be trusted. Consider the implications of that, as you handle a small matter for me. 
surprised. Nothing is for free, mage. Yeah, the vampires. There's a small nuisance I would have you deal with before I tell you what I know. One good turn deserves. Oh, the vampire hunters. The vampire hunters, right? What's the problem? It is a minor situation to be sure, but neither I nor my guards can become directly involved. A nest of vampires has sprung up in Blood Crust Cavern, southeast of the town. They are a threat to the town and must be eliminated. Their presence has drawn a group of vampire hunters to town, following rumors of vampires in Skingrad. While I do not believe my identity has been compromised, I do not wish to take any chances, and so cannot act on either matter. You, however, I know what to do. can act with impunity, and so will take care of this for me. Then, I will tell you what I know. Consider it done. I shall await your return. <coughs> Concert done. I just wanna walk this bridge. But yeah, this, this is fucking amazing. This town. Probably after. I mean, this is this would be my second most favorite town. This is just huge castle made of stone. <laughs> so many bridge. So good. Yeah, you just have to tell vampires to go to the cave, right? I mean, the vampire hunters go clean the cave. Or you can just kill them. That one is more troublesome, trust me. Oh yeah, the Galatir business. Not another one. Ahem. Citizen of Skingrad, please be advised that I am here on official business and wish no harm. Oh, forget it. Let me guess. You're worried about what my men and I are doing here in town, right? Then what do you want with me? I'm a busy man. I don't have time to stand around and chat. All I care about is where the vampires are hiding. I know they're here somewhere. You know where they're holed up? Yeah. Is that so? Well, perhaps we'll have to pay them a little visit. Thanks for the tip, friend. No, of course I'm this, huh? Will they even go in there? Is he going to run with men? Oh, you again. What do you want? You've already told me all that I need to know. Oh, you again. What is it you want to know? I've got my men scattered all over town. Shamar's up by the statue. Vontus is out in the high pasture. And Karsten has the town exit near the castle covered. 
So word hasn't gotten around to all the townspeople. Interesting. They must be very good at keeping a low profile. We heard tell that vampires have infiltrated the town. Came here to root them out. You'll have to forgive me if I don't answer. I don't trust you, frankly. Go ahead. See? Was that hard? You've all... Watch your back, citizen. Good to see you again, friend. I don't suppose you've noticed anything out of the ordinary around here. What is it you want to know? So word... If you... Team. There's the other person over there. Hell, indeed. Just one coin. Okay, I should tell them all. I'm busy. You got business to discuss, you talk to Eridor. Alright. Wish they would just take each other out. Eridor says I ain't supposed to chat with people in town. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever I get, I will kill them myself then. This vampire ladies. Oh my. So yeah, I guess I will do it myself. They are too lazy. And probably this can't be helped. Oh, Dark Elf and Vampire, but the match nullifies. Maybe not really nullifies, but. They raise fire quite a lot. I'm trying to say. The rest is magic, aka the Breton. Good old black cult vampires, huh? Hmm. 
darker stuff, huh? Dark elves, they are quite resistant. Oh, the torch is gone. Cure this. Stuff of fire, not bad. Correct. A good old bone meal. Easy. Do, 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 do. Thanks for asking, huh? you get for trying to attack me. Called. Kinda reminds me of Skyrim Blizzard. Spelled this way, I know the name, I guess. The vampire has been dealt with. Yeah, okay, guys, be right back. The apparently gloss does not exit in Oblivion, I must have been confusing that in, with the Skyrim gloss. I'm pretty sure that normal clothing, the gloss are in Skyrim. Anyway, time to tell this guy that the vampires are dead.
Ah, well, whatever. Let's wait then. Let's wait for them to wake up then. Good to see you again, friend. I don't suppose you've noticed anything out of the ordinary around here. What is it you want to know? If you say so. Good to see you again. You've already... And what? I'm supposed to take your word for it? Sorry, friend. But I'll need some sort of proof. You got any proof? Well, maybe you're not lying after all. If they're gone, then there's no point in hanging around here. Damned amateurs. You people should leave it to the professionals. And I told you where they were. And where are like and where you weren't going with me. Or where I'm going at it you moron. Now for the information. Let's hear it. Yes. Is that guy captain of the guard? No, he's not. The other guys. You have completed your tasks for the count, have you not? Then please wait here while I inform him. Should I come wait? Ooh. I am mighty hungry. And one cookie. Do, 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 do. Good to see you. Thanks, bro. And to practice again. I'll wait for a good old count. Is he always eating? <laughs> <sighs> Let's wait for him. Yeah, the British Islands are pretty much the only thing that counts as non armor gloves in this game, by the way. I will have to add them for the count though. Because you don't have them if you start. The alternate stout remote, you know. But it's kind of feel bad to wear them. You will feel like a prisoner still. Of course, why in every else clone game game you have to be a prisoner? I don't know about the first two, but Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, you are the prisoner. <laughs> to those who would encroach on my territory. You convince them to leave, I see. <laughs> A wise plan. More hunters will come in time, I'm sure. For now, Skingrad is quiet again. You have my thanks. There's been trouble with smugglers and Khajiit bandits in the Transnibbin. But Marius Caro is taking steps to deal with the problem. Hmm. 
Perhaps you'd better speak with my steward. I'm afraid I have little time to spend with visitors to Skingrad. Your guild does not fully appreciate the danger which quickly approaches. Hopefully when you return to them, their eyes will be opened. The necromancers are a sign of things to come. An old acquaintance of the guild has come to Cyrodiil. They are answering his call. While I do not know for quite what purpose he has arrived, I believe the Guild of Mages is in great danger. Mana Marco has returned. Nearly invincible, he has established himself somewhere in the north of Cyrodiil. This is all that I know. See to it that your leader, Traven, learns this as soon as possible. I have no love for your guild, but I have no wish to see it destroyed either. All right. I have told you all that I know. Mana Marco has come to Cyrodiil, and I believe he means harm to your guild. Traven must know this. Even I know that some from your guild have defected to join him. I believe you can be trusted, as you have been attacked once already. Indeed. Perhaps it is a mistake to make that assumption. <laughs> Only time will tell, I suppose. He is an old and powerful necromancer. Traven will recognize the name even if you do not. Return to your guild and prepare yourself accordingly. How are you? All right, let's go Traven this information or Traven. The raining. Hard fire, huh? What is hard fire? July, August, or stuff like that. Greetings. What news from Skingrad? I assume you've spoken to Count Hasseldor. What? Is that possible? This is grave news indeed. I had, perhaps foolishly believed that necromancy was all but stamped out in Cyrodiil. It seems I couldn't have been more mistaken. I shall need to consult the council as to how to proceed with this situation. Thank you for the information. It may save many lives. My attention is focused on the council right now. I will need you soon enough. I need more time. Well met. Can I interest you in some of my wares? <laughs> Injured noise. First, mm -hmm. all right, I'll take that. Thank you for your patronage. Bye. Well, they got nothing else for me. What shall we do now? Anybody have any ideas? I guess so much stuff. Yeah, that sounds alright. I guess let's go to Toron here. Oh, Sunny again. Something I can do for you. It is good to see you again. What can I interest you in? Hmm. 
That's a fair deal. You've made a good bit of gold. 